Thanks for taking the time to fill out this what's your number one MLM business building mistake assessment. Your report's processing. It'll be in your email inbox in about 20 minutes. So in the meantime, let's talk about your results. Hi, I'm Matt Zavidal. Over the last decade or so, I've created over 1,000 marketing plans for online course creators, coaches, network marketers, and I've taught classes inside the 20,000 plus member attraction marketing community. Inside my work, I've helped network marketers grow strong businesses by really doing one thing really, really well, creating an online marketing funnel that attracts their best fit customers and downline members. And I use these methods myself to build a nine levels deep network marketing organization that attracted people all across the United States, Canada, Europe, South Africa, Australia, and other countries into my downline. Throughout it all, I discovered this. Success with network marketing in the post-2020 world stems from one thing. Knowing who your best fit customer is and understanding them better than they know themselves. Have you ever heard your company or your upline say, hey, it's not selling, it's just sharing. Or our products are a great fit for everyone. Go tell them about it. If you're trying to build your network marketing business in this way, you're making a mistake. Why do I say that? Well, it's because you're working against the principles of successful marketing. Question, how often do you answer your cell phone? And how do you feel when someone you knew from a year, five years, 10 years ago tries to hit you up about an opportunity? How do you feel when you get social media direct messages about trying a new product or opportunity? Social media is the online version of the offline three foot rule, but it does have its place at the beginning of your MLM career. To succeed with building a 10K plus per month business, you must identify and overcome the biggest mistake network marketers make in the post 2020 world. Before I share your biggest mistake and how to overcome it, let me share the number one problem we really face in the network marketing industry. And it's not what you think. This problem led me to discover and perfect a system that allowed me to overcome my own business and marketing failures and my own inability to build a business that lasted long term. It's a system that allowed me to overcome two decades of MLM failure, build an international nine levels deep MLM downline and do it all without doing any phone calls to friends and family, without doing any direct messages to strangers on social media, and without bugging one person in the bookstore or supermarket. So if I can do this, a guy who used to look like this back in the early 90s playing in a rock band, you can do it too. And it all started the day I realized the problem that we face isn't what we think it is. We've been lied to. We've been deceived. You won't believe what it is, so keep watching. This problem is way deeper than your frustration with getting rejected or your inability to get people to see how much you can help them, or even how many prospects you have on your list. In fact, it's based on a lie. Your lack of success is based on a lie. It's a lie that once it's revealed to you, you'll never look at MLM the same again. The lie that you have probably bought into, that I bought into, is that prospecting isn't sales. That is nonsense, and I'm gonna prove it to you right now. But first, before I get into why that's a lie, how did this lie ever get formed in the first place? To answer this question, we need to talk about a buzzword in the network marketing community. We need to talk about attraction marketing. All right, I have this phrase here, let's treat one another as adults. And what I mean by that is, there's a lot of talk online about what is attraction marketing exactly. A really easy definition is it's just learning real business building skills. It's actually turning yourself from a salesperson into a true online marketer. And the old style network marketing process really is one of sales, right? You hear people all the time, uh, uplines, network marketing companies telling people, hey, it's not selling, it's sharing. Well, uh, that's not really true. Uh, there's nothing wrong with sales, by the way. I'm a very shy person by nature. And back in my 20s, I made it a point to learn sales. And I took some sales classes. I forced myself to do some sales positions to kind of come out of my shell and be able to work around people a little more easily. So there's nothing wrong with being a salesperson. It's just tell me if it's sales, which is not what's happening in most network marketing companies, unfortunately. Then we get into the burn and churn model on social media, which definitely is not attraction marketing, where you send a lot of messages, you hope people respond to those messages, 
and you're really using a lot of deception to get them onto calls. And unfortunately, it's also not building an asset like I'm gonna share with you that you can accomplish via what we call true attraction marketing. Now, look at the word network marketing. Well, the two words, right? There is the word marketing in it, right? It doesn't say network sales. So as a marketer, what you do is you first identify your target market. What are the pain points, aspirations, goals of my best fit client? Unlike the churn and burn model, you build relationships with your audience. You put your prospects needs first by providing value to them. You give them some really good content on social media, or you might build a blog and put good content on that blog. And what that content does by teaching them something, putting their needs first, is it attracts them to you and that content teaches them something where they now start to build trust in who you are because they're seeing you more as an influencer. And now you make product sales and recruit teams because they want to follow you. Traditional network marketers have no target market. It's, again, all about just go share it with everybody. But that's not really building a business in a true sense or being a true marketer. And I'll teach you how to understand from a very deep level the wants and needs of your target market. You're not going to be shouting into the void anymore. People are ignoring you on social and things of that nature. And you won't ever be in that uncomfortable sales situation ever again. People will actually listen to you, see you as a valuable resource, and they'll willingly buy from you and join you. You know, when I believed this lie that I wasn't in sales while building my MLM business, I was calling people I hadn't talked to in years, pretending to care about them and then disappointing them when they realized I was just trying to hustle them into a call with my upline. I did the same on social media, inauthentically reaching out to strangers and baiting them into a sales call. And guess what? That wasn't the bad part. And you may feel that you're in a similar situation, trying to hustle your contacts into an uncomfortable sales situation. That's not the bad part. Well, I know it feels awful, but the really bad part is that you're not gaining time freedom. You're not getting more time with your family. You're spending more time outside of your job, sitting at your computer or on your phone, hustling people in social media DMs. And if working yourself to death for maybe a couple hundred bucks extra per month, feeling more stress, blood pressure rising, feeling tired all day, if that isn't enough to snap you to attention, to realize your MLM company put you to work into a bizarro world, the opposite of a time freedom system, what are you doing to your children? Now, I know if you're anything like me, you're a loving parent and you'll love your children and grandchildren to no end. And if you don't have children yet and you think about having them later, you know you're gonna love them. You're a role model or you're going to be a role model for the steps that they will follow. And accidentally, you may be imprinting them on the way they should look at the process of work and earning an income. And they may end up struggling with the same thing that you're suffering from right now for the rest of their lives. These are my grandchildren. My wife and I love these two little kids to death. And I wanna tell you a quick story. A few years ago, when our granddaughter there, Autumn, was about five years old, we had gone to visit them and I had my laptop and I just love to work. I love what I do. I, you know, work to me is not work and that's a great place to be and I hope to help get you there someday. But I brought the laptop and we were all just kind of sitting around the house there and it was one of those times where I think my wife and our daughter were in the kitchen uh, making some food. Uh, myself and our, my, our son-in-law were just sitting on the couch, you know, watching some TV. The kids were just kind of playing, doing their own thing. Nobody was really talking at that point. We're all just kind of doing our own thing. And I thought, you know what? There was, there was something in my mind about what I wanted to look at in my laptop, do a little bit of quick work. And I opened it up and it wasn't more than two or three minutes. And my granddaughter, Autumn, comes and just sits down next to me on the couch, puts her little hand on my arm, and she looks up at me. She calls me Papa. They both call, call me Papa. She looks at me, and she just goes, Papa, you know, in her little voice, Papa, do you have to work again? And it hit me right there what I was imprinting on her and her grandson, that you got to work all the time. You always got to be thinking about work. You always have to be doing that. And the funny thing is, I don't need to think about work all the time anymore. I've set my business up in a way, which I'll share with you in a moment, where I can separate when I really need to work 
and put time into the business and when I can be 100% present with my family. And at that moment, I made a commitment to myself. I will never make her or Colton or grandson feel that way again. That when Papa and Spunky, which is what they call my wife, when they come over, it's all about them. It's all about family. And I've never taken my laptop out again. So if you're imprinting this type of bad direction around work and income onto your children and or grandchildren, is that worth a change? Look, if you're feeling bad about this right now, just rest easy. This is not all your fault. Now, it's your responsibility to change now that you know this like I did, but it's not your fault. If you ask me who's really to blame, it's the MLM industry, and I'll tell you why. As a whole, the MLM industry pushes this anti-sales narrative. Each company tells you and I that their product is so good that it sells itself. This is pushed on you since the day you saw your first opportunity presentation. You didn't know better. You heard this message from the people running these companies. You figure, hey, they must know what they're talking about. And you grew into thinking that the product would sell itself. You would simply put it in front of people and they would buy it. You didn't know that you actually had to become a salesperson, even if you hate doing sales. You didn't know that there is a better, more comfortable, and far less time-intensive way to sell your product and recruit people into your downline. You didn't know all the cool stuff I'm about to share with you that will help you reach 10K months while spending more time, not less, with your loved ones. Once you realize that this is a lie, that your product does not sell itself, that your MLM company's training has turned you into a salesperson, you now open your mind to what really works. And this is working for thousands of people right now all over the world. Examples, here's Emma in the United Kingdom, 14,000 leads online, quit her job in five months after learning these principles and I'm gonna share with you. Eva in Indiana, rank advanced six times in six months. Jamie in Colorado, 700 leads, lots of sales, new business partner. Gloria from Canada, I went from zero to 30,000 a month in less than a year. Layla from South Africa, from frustrated and ready to quit to having people reach out to me. Jenny, UK, I created a new income stream, quit my job. Kelly, Pennsylvania, no more stress and worry about where I'm going to find my next prospect. Jim was working as his, at his regular job, doctor of physical therapy, and in six months doing it part-time, created a new $10,000 part-time income. Robert in Texas, 400 new leads, 21 recruits, over $5,000 in the first 30 days. How did we all do this? All of us avoided a costly mistake that a lot of MLMers continue to make daily, which is refusing to learn internet marketing to become a professional MLM internet marketer. I want you to ask yourself, why do so many people out there just not like the idea of MLM or, they, or the, net, the term network marketing? The answer is all the hokey and questionable sales tactics that people have been exposed to. They're not marketing, they're sales tactics that make both sides feel super uncomfortable. Here's a key point to really think about. You should only use your warm contact list and social media outreach to get your business started, get it off the ground. But if you want long-term MLM growth, like I did by building a nine levels deep international business, the way to do that is you become a professional online network marketer. Now, let's discuss how to use these authentic marketing strategies to outsell and out-recruit your entire network marketing company. How did you get here? Did I DM you on Facebook or Instagram? Did you see me dancing on TikTok? No. On your own accord, you search for how to stop struggling in MLM or some variation of a keyword phrase like that and found a blog post of mine or one of my YouTube videos. I've already proven to you that what I will teach you about marketing flat out works. Simply think back to how you found me. There's the proof. By now, you're probably getting excited about how your business will transform after learning to duplicate what you see me doing and understanding that if what I'm doing worked with you, it'll work when you apply it to your MLM business and prospects. In a moment, I'm gonna show you how to do all this. Before I do, let me reveal a second big lie told inside the MLM industry. Lie number one was that you are not doing sales while well, you are, in fact, doing sales. Lie number two is this theory that using true professional internet marketing won't duplicate on your team. This is more nonsense, and I'll prove it to you. If you keep doing the traditional sales approach to MLM, will that duplicate on your team? 
Let's assume for a moment that you love doing sales. Great, you're making product sales, you're selling people onto your team. Remember how I cautioned you about what you imprint on your children and grandchildren though when it comes to work and income? Write this phrase down. The way people come into your business is how they think they must run the business. If you sell hard to get them in and now try to teach them how to sell hard to get their sales and recruits coming in, you will lose 99% of your people because the average person wants nothing to do with being a salesperson. On the other hand, the Content Marketing Institute says 77% of the public says they would rather consume educational content than get sold. Most people hate doing sales and also hate being sold by salespeople. Doesn't it make sense to build your MLM business without doing sales yourself and without turning off your downline members by forcing them to get into sales? Now, so many people ask me how to make money faster in network marketing, and I quickly respond with the tips I'm about to share with you today. First, if you're a network marketer working inside an MLM company, whether it's Arbon, Melaleuca, Legal Shield, Herbalife, It Works, Beachbody, Isogenics, Young Living, Duterra, Roden and Fields, MWR Financial, or any of the thousands of available MLM companies, no matter your company, I want to teach you how you can use attraction marketing properly inside your chosen MLM company. To teach you this, I'd like to give you a free masterclass all about it. Recently, I was asked to teach inside the attraction marketing community that numbers over 20,000 members. They asked me to teach how I used content marketing to create my success in network marketing. I sell this masterclass now as one of the modules inside my $1,000 content marketing course. However, as a new member to my community, I want to give it to you for free so you can get a glimpse into the exciting world of attraction marketing and use the tips I give in the masterclass inside your network marketing business immediately. How can you access it for free? Simply click the link below and you'll see the presentation on the next page. So grab a notebook or empty Google Doc, click the link below, click play on my masterclass replay and enjoy the lucrative world of attraction marketing.